Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie's Cards. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm here with my second instalment of the Shop Your Crafty Stash series that I'm planning on doing this year. Gosh, that's a mouthful. Um, and today my random number generator pulled out the Sealed With A Kiss stamp set from Lawn Fawn and this comic strip everyday die from Sunny Studios. So I had to think about what I could do and I decided to pull in a few other sets. So I have So Damn Much, Bar Humbug, and also Happy Hugs, all from Lawn Fawn. And I decided to do a Valentine's card because obviously Valentine's is fast approaching. So I have gone ahead, colored and cut out my little images and I have cut out my die. I've used just, I've just got the frame here and I've cut it from some white cardstock. And then I also went ahead and created a card base. This is a standard size card base cut from some white cardstock. And I've used this little stamp set, which is the All My Heart stamp set from Lawn Fawn. I got it free with my recent Lawn Fawn release order. And I think you had to spend $60 and you got it free. And it's such a cute little stamp set. So I stamped out um, a sentiment which says, I love you. And then a couple of little hearts from that stamp set in the inside of my card. And now I'm just using some liquid glue to stick down my frame. Okay, so I did think about doing a shaker card because <laughs> you know me, I love a shaker. But if you have a look at those kind of um, dividers in between in the frame, they're very tiny and I thought I would struggle to get any foam tape in there. So I decided just to go with a flat card. I've actually been enjoying making flat cards recently. They're very quick and easy and lots of fun to put together. So then I pulled out the Sunny Studios Flirty Flowers paper pack and it is full of gorgeous pastel colors of kind of paper. And I've chosen the B side, I guess it is, which has got this, um, Kind of quilted heart backdrop to it and I've gone ahead and cut each one of those well several different colors of those for my kind of backgrounds for each of the comic strip pieces. Now um, I want to remind you that I am doing this series Shop Your Crafty Stash this year which means that I'm trying my very best to use up all of those kind of forgotten about <laughs> items in my stash. Maybe not forgotten about, but items that I haven't had a chance to use a great deal of. So the idea behind it is to um, get a random number generator to choose the stamp set and die set that I use for each video and try and make it work. So I will leave a link to my original video below, which um, describes exactly how I'm planning about going about doing this. And you will see for yourself how it's going to work. So I, while I've been talking there, I went ahead and stamped out my sentiment onto that purple piece. Again, it comes from that All My Heart stamp set and it says, you make my heart smile. And I thought it was perfect for this little Valentine's card. So I'm just laying out my little critters there, making sure I'm happy with where they are. And then I'm going to stick them down again with some liquid glue. So everything is flat today. No dimension on here. It's just a very quick and easy, simple but effective Valentine's card. And I think it's really, really cute. And I've seen a few versions of something similar to this on Instagram recently. Um, I think lots of people have got these lawn fawn sets where there's, you know, there's so many options from lawn fawn where you can really pick and choose. I just kind of went through my stash and found some critters that would work in, um, in this kind of element that I wanted of either kissing or hugging. Um, and, yeah, there's, there's a lot. There were also, um, I was kind of eyeing up the little seahorses. Um, there's some manatees, um, some little chicks um, in various different sets. So yeah, have, if, you're, if you're keen to make something similar to this, have a hunt through your lawn fawn stash. There are plenty of little critters that you can use in various different poses that would work in a similar way. So once all of my critters were stacked down, I pulled out this Dress My Crafts um, supply of little hearts. They come in red, pink, and white in this little tin. And I decided just to go for the white hearts. I did try out the different colors, but 
I felt the red was a bit too clashy with the pastel colors that I'd used. The pink got a little bit lost on some of them and I just thought the white worked perfectly. It kind of stood out. So that's why I went for the white ones. And I'm just using a little dot of glue to stick those down. And that is it. My card is all complete. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this one today. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you come back again. And please feel free to leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And don't forget to use that hashtag shop your crafty stash on Instagram or here on YouTube if you are creating things with some of the items from your stash. Thanks for joining me.